All right, guys, so let's start messing with the B6A4. So the first thing I like to do to cars are remove uh, some of the badgings. So for the front, there's only one, which is this here, the little quattro badge. And then for the rear, there's a couple, which is the 1.8T and quattro badge on this side and the A4 badge on this side. So for the two rears, I'm going to follow the same process as I did with all of my cars. Just heat them up, remove, uh, pull them off, use the adhesive remover, and clean up the rest of the adhesive, and then just buff it out. And for the one in the front, it's pretty simple. All there is is two little tabs that actually hold the little back tab of this quattro badge in the back of this grill and you just remove that and this should just pop right out <laughs> all right guys so before i get started please help support my channel by subscribing by hitting that red subscribe button thanks guys okay so let's go ahead and get the front one out first i'll show you guys what it looks like to be able to take it out let's see okay. it's right here one little metal tab here here that actually holds it in here i'm gonna pop those out and show you guys what it actually looks like all right, so I got this quattro badge out. So basically, these two metal clips are here. Just kind of clips it. See how they clips it onto the back of this little slat right here in this grill. So what I did was use a little flathead and pry it out from the bottom here, and then up top here, pry it off and just push it out, and it was able to come out. So the front one is off. Yeah. Now let's go do the back. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is heat up the adhesive. So next thing I'm going to do is use a small little flathead and just pop it off carefully. Not touching the paint so you don't scratch the paint. Next thing I'm going to do is wipe it down. And now, I'm just going to use my finger and rub off all of the, as much of the adhesive as possible. Okay, I rubbed as much of it off as I could. Now I'm going to use this 3M specialty adhesive move to hopefully remove the rest of that. Spray on it. Let it sit for a couple of seconds to start eating up the adhesive and just rub it off. All right, so most of it is off now, so we should be able to just rub that out. So I'm gonna use 3M rubbing compound and this little drill with this pad and just buff it out. So, put a little bit on the pad. guys just finished up so it looks like the badge is already embedded into the trunk so I got most of it off but you can see there that is still kind of showing mm, not too bad most of it's off I try my best of getting rid of it but it's already pretty deep on there 
anyways I think I'm planning to swap out the trunk anyways because of the clear coat on top of here so either swap out the trunk or if I do plan to do a color change then it's gonna be either wrap or a paint anyways let me do the exact same to this guy and hope that hope that this guy isn't as bad as that side and all of it comes off got this side done and unfortunately same for this side the emblem is already embedded into a paint so this is the best I could do but other than that if you look from afar you can't really see and look unless you are a little bit up close but it does look much better and much cleaner but like I said, it's okay for now because the trunk is already pretty bad as it is and I plan to replace the trunk if I can find the exact same color. Or when I plan to do a color change, I'll just wrap the whole thing or paint the whole thing. But this is what I wanted, no emblem, and it looks much cleaner in my opinion. So this process that I just did worked out much better for all my other cars, but for this one, I guess because the paint is already pretty old, like you can see, on the top of the trunk it's already peeling so that's why it didn't work too great on this one so here's everything that i used in this video i got this heat gun from harbor freights got the uh, 3m rubbing compound from a local auto parts store same thing for this 3m specialty adhesive remover uh this little drill from harbor freights as well and that pad is actually from like a little uh headlight restorer so uh, these two guys you can get it from Harbor Freights. These two you can get it from the local auto parts store, or I can link. I'll link down the uh, link down below for you if you guys want to purchase it online. Anyways, that's gonna be the end of this video, and I hope that this video can help you guys out. Don't forget to subscribe to help support my channel. Comment any sort of feedback to help my channel grow, and like this video if you find it helpful. Thanks, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.